was a pretty awesome Hindu. I was so good at living my life in my own little corner of the universe doing my Hindu thing. And then I met God. I first met God when I was a college student in the South. I was minding my own business one night, studying for a test with one of my friends, and she asked me if I was hungry. When I was in college, I was always hungry. So I said, yeah. What do you want to do for dinner? She asked if I wanted to go to church with her. I started to just kind of look at her like, you know I'm a Hindu, right? You know that, um, oh my God, why? We're in the buckle of the Bible belt. Isn't there some kind of commandment that says, Hindus shall not go to church. I actually found out later that there is no commandment about Hindus not going to church. But I tried to think of every excuse possible. But finally, I went with my friend to this dinner that was held once a week for college students at the Lutheran Church. I was going to hold on to my Hindu self with every fiber of my being. It's what I knew, it's, it's how I grew up. I was ready to march right into that church, getting ready to defend my right to exist, and I didn't have to. I was welcomed. The pastor said he wasn't out to convert me. It was just a group of students who had dinner together. They hung out, and I was welcome to join them. So I did. I actually did this for a few years. I still held on to my Hindu self, and I was welcomed for being fully me at the same time. Then I started to go to worship. I had no idea what was going on at all. It was amazing. People were doing things that made no sense to me. They, they, sang songs out of these books that you had to juggle. They stood up, they sat down, they gathered around and got on their knees and received this little cracker that you dipped in a cup. And then they gathered around a bowl of water. I kept thinking, should a Hindu even be here? Because have you ever been in a situation where you feel kind of awkward and uncomfortable because you don't know what's going on? That was me in church. I was wondering and feeling, do I belong here in worship, in church? Then I met God. I was in worship and people around me were singing a hymn and that's when God showed up. I mean, I know that God is supposed to show up in church on a Sunday, but God showed up. God's presence, yeah.
God's presence was so massive that the Holy Spirit filled the place up to the point where I thought that the roof was going to blow off the building because the church was filled with the presence of the Holy Spirit. And I started freaking out. I am looking around to see other people around me in worship, wondering, has anybody else been set on fire with the Spirit? And I am the only one who is a hot mess. It didn't make sense to me because that is when God came to me and said, I love you. Yes, I love you. And I know that you're a Hindu and I love you. This made absolutely no sense to me because I was really wrestling and struggling with, do I belong? Really, God? Seriously? Here? Now? You're going to do this? It made absolutely no sense whatsoever. And it was one of those instances where I just kept wondering, should this even be happening? Should I even be here? I am not the only person who has asked, should I even be here? There have been the naysayers. There have been the people who have said, you are a token person of color and that is why you are loved. This was a good idea that somebody else had and you just followed. But God is not into the shoulds and the should nots of the world. What matters is our relationships with God and with one another. It is through the relationships, through the presence of the Spirit in those relationships that showed me and told me to be brave, to answer God's call. I can talk about the shoulds and the should nots like I have them figured out today, but I don't. I still wrestle with where God has called me to be a pastor in this church, the places where the Holy Spirit has sent me kicking and screaming. I have literally run away from God because the shoulds of the world have told me that there is no place for me. But then there is God. God has put my friends, my family, and my church family in my life to remind me that God will always be present with me. God has placed people in my life again and again and again to remind me that in the midst of this call, I am never alone. I mean, I am here with 31,000 of my closest friends. God has sent me messenger after messenger after messenger after messenger, setting fires all around me until I finally noticed, oh, hey, there's a fire. It's time to be like Moses and take off my shoes. Through the waters of baptism and the fire of the Holy Spirit, this is proof that God is here because if a former Hindu can become a Lutheran pastor, then yeah, God's call changes everything. <laughs> 